Hello, dear friends. Today, I want to answer a very relevant question, and that is, have I gone mad? I'm walking from Canada to Los Angeles right now, a 1,700 mile walk, and as I've changed some of my focuses, changed some of the ways I'm sharing online, some people have asked the question, have I gone mad? Crazy, insane, lost my marbles, <laughs> lost my nuts, lost it. And not just the question, but a lot of people have made the statement that I have gone in this realm. So I'd like to answer that today. There's a few reasons that I want to answer that. One, my life is an experiment with my mind. I am of the belief that the only thing that we have control over on this earth is our own mind. How we react to the world around us. And I'm on a path of becoming a master of my own mind. So this is relevant. Am I becoming a master of my own mind? Or am I losing my mind? And as many of you know, there's not always perfect clarity in this realm between the two. So, whew, I'm gonna discuss that a little bit, the differences. The other reason I wanna answer this is because I care about you, I care about all of you. And I know some of you are genuinely concerned about me. And I love you for that. And some of you want to check in with me. And you don't each have individual access to me, but you have access to me in this way, that I genuinely care about you, whether we've met or not. And so some of you want to know this. And then at the same time, some of you may have family or friends that you like to share my messages with and they may say, well, this guy's obviously gone crazy. And so I'd like to share a little bit on that. And people have been saying this since the beginning. I mean, you see what I do and you see how the US American society and how the dominator society is living. So it's always been a belief from, to be honest, tens of thousands of people that I'm just crazy, as people would say. But lately I've been getting a little bit more of it as I dive into the realm of, well, the mind. I've been focused on sustainability for a long time. Justice, equity. I've been focused for a very long time on how we as a humanity can live in harmony with the earth and with the plants and animals we share this earth with. And I've mostly explored that with you through more practical means of sustainable living and simple living, um, relatively simple and understandable concepts, whether it be you know, living in a tiny house, foraging, growing food, um, you know, zero waste, having natural fiber clothing, just many ways of living simply and sustainably closely connected to the earth. And now I'm diving more into the mind. And as I shared, the mind was a part of all that, but I am going deeper into the mind. I've been practicing nonviolent communication, and I've been practicing Vipassana, which is a 10-day silent meditation, both of which I write extensively about on my website. And I've been exploring the concepts of mindfulness and presence, I've been exploring the concepts of living in a state of reciprocity, connection, celebration of life, interconnectedness, and to a large degree, well also gratitude has been a big one for me. But to a large degree, what I've been really focusing on is overcoming the delusion of separateness. I believe that it is our belief that we are separate from the earth, that we are separate from the plants and animals we share this home with, that is ultimately 
causing so much destruction. The belief that we are separate, the belief that we are not animals, that we are superior and above and ultimately different. And so I've been really deeply exploring the concept of interconnectedness or interbeing, the concept that we are one and a part of it all. And this is a fairly deep realm to go into. And not exactly the easiest one to bring to a society that has been so disconnected. Our corporate systems, our government systems, our societal structures, they're all designed to separate us and disconnect us. And I have many teachers that I have learned from who have been very, very important on this path. Thich Nhat Hanh is one. Hello. Are you Rob? Yeah. Okay. You got it? Nice. There we go. I like the sun flare. Oh yeah. yeah. Nice. Well, great to meet you, boy. Yeah, nice to meet you. Oof. So I'm all the way out here and you could kind of say the middle of nowhere. That would be a reasonable statement. A couple of guys just recognized me from the internet slash real life. I absolutely love being found in action by people who either follow me online or just remember me from some moment. And those couple of guys drove past me and they just couldn't figure it out and then they realized it was from the month of living like the average US American and wearing all of my trash that they recognized me from out here in the middle of nowhere Washington. So if you do see me, I welcome you to stop and say hello, share a hug and share a moment or a long moment, whichever happens, because it brings me great joy to connect with people and it's one way that I know that my work is working. If I'm out and about and wherever I am, there's people who have been positively impacted by my life, I know that my work is working and so I love it. So always feel free to approach me. So the question, back to the question of have I lost my mind? And so I, I came up with a, a concept today, just, just moments ago, and decided that I wanted to propose this or share it and see how it feels for you. So here's my way of looking at it. The question is, is this person living in a manner in which their life is of service, of benefit to the people, to the plants and animals, to the earth around them and of benefit to themselves. You know, not causing harm through their actions and actually of service. Or is the person living in a way in which is causing harm to themselves physically and mentally and causing harm to the people around them? What if that was our definition or our view of whether someone is losing it. That is the definition that I am interested in exploring and I'm not here to give answers. I'm here to create thought. For those of you who are genuinely concerned of whether I'm losing my mind, I can't, only you can decide that. <laughs> Your opinion, it's all, it's all an opinion, only you can decide that. But for those that care about me, I would like to just genuinely share from my heart that I am quite thriving. I'm happy, I'm healthy, I'm in love with life. And I have my highs and my lows, but for the most part, I'm very balanced. I've been practicing uh, the concept of equanimity. To say, and so it is, whatever it is, and so it is. And I have quite a Stable mind, I would say. Now, the reason I can say that is because I spend hundreds of hours observing my mind. 
uh, which is part of what it takes in order to become a master of our mind, or um, you could say enlightened, which is a gradient, which is a spectrum. You could say mentally mature or developed, however you want to put to it, or grounded or stable. This takes work. And so I'll just share that with you from you know the bottom of my heart, authentically and genuinely, that, that I, yes, in some ways I am losing my mind, um, intentionally. I'm losing, I'm, I'm shedding what no longer serves me. And that's a lot in a dominator society that has taught me to live in such a destructive way. There's so much to shed, there's so much to lose. So yes, 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 I am absolutely losing my mind and I invite you to as well. But through stability, through practice, through dedication, through mindfulness, through presence, through celebration of life, through connection, through pursuing harmony, not through abusing substances that can be beneficial or can be abused, not through taking advantage, not through Yeah, I mean, you can lose your mind however you want if you want to, but this is the way that I'm choosing to. Losing, shedding what no longer serves me and making space for what truly does. And I know that much of society uh, will cast much doubt and much judgment. And I understand that and I welcome it. And I will be here to receive it with understanding, with non-judgment, with compassion. Uh, because many of those thoughts are thoughts that I would have had. And I judge others as well. And so, of course, I understand others will judge me. So, I hope that has given you a little window into my mind of the question uh, of what's going on inside of here. And the last thing I'll say for now is... The last thing I'll say for now is that if you are if you are watching my videos and you have been for a while, you might see that I'm going to be approaching videos in a little bit of a different way. I have this camera so I can record and what I'm trying to do is bring myself to you in the most real way possible, to be talking to you and to be here with you. And that's that's what this is. My YouTube channel is not monetized. For those of you who don't know, I'm not making money off of this. That's not why I'm doing this. I'm not trying to gain more subscribers. If anything, this type of uh, sharing, I think, is most likely to lose me subscribers. I'm genuinely here to, sh to open up my mind, uh, to, to make, you know, to, to bring a window into my mind so that you can open up your mind as well. I, I live by example and the deep analyzation and observation of my mind is what I'm doing and I invite you to do as well with me. I think it's incredibly important in sustainability, in um, environmental justice and social justice. If we're not analyzing our own minds and analyzing the minds of society, we, we won't get where we're trying to go. Um, so this is incredibly important to me, to bring harmony and peace and integrity and truth inside of me, to bring that to all the movements that I'm playing a role in. And so right now what I'm exploring is just the deepest level of um, authenticity and genuineness and, and truth and integrity that I can. And the way that I know how to do that at this point, at this moment is just sharing relatively unfiltered straight from my mind with you, with those of you who care to be here and listen, if you, you know, for those that don't, but that's that. It's you that I'm speaking to. You. So I love you all very much and you'll be seeing more of me and I encourage you to find one mindfulness practice to embark on today after watching this video. All right. I love you very much. And just one last thing. Behind every label of crazy, insane, mad, just remember, these are just labels. Behind those labels is a human, a human, a human being.